Okay, so I can sit anywhere? Yes, are you going to eat? Are you going to eat? Yes, yes. yeah, I'm very hungry. Mucho hambre. <laughs> Yes. yes, great. Yeah, beautiful farm. Yeah, very nice. And it's, uh, okay, grass here. It's only 140. Hold on. Okay. Well, everybody, hello, hello. This is my first meal since uh, getting over the blues with Montezuma's Revenge. And I decided to have a beer. And this is their local brew pub. Asadia. And they have uh, an amber, I guess, and a dark, so I got the dark. And uh, yeah, it's okay. It's not bad. A little too sweet for my taste. Not a sweet beer guy. And I finished the first a uh, little bit. This is how much soup I get. I got that much soup on the potato. And then uh, I tried a little bit of this. This is a uh, carrot butter. Potato is uh, okay, a little salty. This is what I'm going to do. I'll walk through the line there up there if I didn't already do it. Um, there's so many foods. So it's less than nine bucks for all you can eat. It's incredible if the food's good. All right, so I'm excited. Like a kid in a candy shop here. All right, Sonny. This little taqueria here thing, I forget what these are called. They, I had some Thai women who worked for me and they used to make these for me. They were very good. They'd melt in your mouth. These are not bad. A little spicy. Now this is a chili. Uh, chili, what the hell am I saying? Corn tortilla with the paste on it. And it just melts in your mouth. It's phenomenal. But it is, for me, on the edge of being too spicy. For some of my friends who like spicy, this would be nothing. But I can feel my sinuses starting to cook, so yeah, I'm going to eat it here. Uh, phenomenal. Oh my god. It's, uh, it's a little greasy, so one probably is okay. But anything that melts in your mouth like that. Now this chicken, this is, I already forget the name of it, chili, uh, anyways, it's a combination of chili and chocolate and nuts and they put it over chicken and that's known for Puebla as well as that thing I just ate. There are a couple other dishes up there that I just noticed by but you know what's really nice is just having some vegetables. Mexico City, they just didn't have them. At least at the places, you know, I didn't go into any formal restaurants. That's my waitress, Marza, or Mark, she said it's okay to call her. Her English is very good, and she walked me through the buffet and explained what each one is, each item is. They did really great. All right, I don't know if this is uh, gonna cut me off or not, but. As I enjoy this cup of coffee, I can tell you today, right now, is the best I've felt on the whole trip. And I think it's because I'm getting that meal I just had, and the energy, since I haven't had anything substantial to eat for two days, number one, the beer I had, I had a beer and now the coffee. The beer is flowing through my veins, and now the food is flowing through my veins, and all that sugar and energy, and so, very good feeling. Very good feeling. So, that's what they call serendipity. Because when I got the pass for the taxi, instead of going out the door to the left of the taxis, I went up the ramp to the second floor, and I met that guy at the information counter. And he gave me all that information. He said, do you have any questions? I said, what? Yeah, I said, uh, where, are there any good restaurants? And I told him what I was looking for. Without hesitation, he goes, you have to go here. And he took out his map and marked it on the map. It was half a kilometer from, well, maybe a little bit more than uh, my hotel. And uh, 
That's what they call serendipity. And if I wake up at 2 in the morning praying to the force from God, it wasn't serendipity, but I don't think that will be the case. That's the advantage of eating in a restaurant and not on street food. So the hotel, the other thing was, was I had reserved the same hotel for 250 pesos on booking.com. And he hands me a pamphlet for hotels. And it said 200 pesos. So I got to the hotel, I said, hey, why don't you just pay, let me pay 200? They're like, okay. <laughs> so I got 50 off that. So, and the meal's gonna be 140, I'm gonna leave 200. And, uh, you know, no major accomplishments today, but I didn't get killed last night. Found a hotel, was able to charge everything up, transferred, saw some files, got some emails done, and then I was able to find my way out and over here in a very timely manner as well as do the boat ride, so it's not a completely lost day, but and the weather was spectacular. And I've always said, if I had to break it down to three things, good weather, good food, and beautiful women. I don't mean to offend any of the women, but that's really what, if I'm single, that's what I prefer. Now, if I'm involved with somebody, then obviously the, the woman part is filled. Well, I just came out of the place. Now, I didn't ask, but I kind of knew that if you, if you have a beer, that's where they're going to nail you. And I only had one beer, and sure enough, it was... Uh, the meal was 140 and the beer was 75 so they make their money on the booze but it's okay it's fair i mean 140 is a joke for all that food and i got small little portions of everything and but just uh i did go back for seconds and thirds on the fruit go back seconds on the vegetables and the salads because uh with what I just went through, I think my body just needs that freshness of fresh vegetables and fruits to get back up to full strength. Mm -hmm. Only had a tiny bit of meat, whatever was in the sauce, if they put any in, and I tried a little bit of that chicken with the, the mole sauce. Um, not a fan of that, have to, oh, look at that. Yeah, yeah, those buildings illuminated at night are incredible. That's the, uh, that is the cathedral, I believe. There's another one here. I think I'm going to go to the GoPro now. This is the Nikon. See if the GoPro shows these churches any better. So anyway, I just want to start by saying, dear Lord, thank you very much for the blessings that you've given me. I am despite all my problems and the issues that I face and my unhappy things that I'm not happy with, uh, I'm, I'm very lucky and I'm grateful. And uh, I love you, Mom. You too, Nat, and all the other people who I miss and I think about. It. That is one of the churches. Now that's where I came from. My hotel is about a kilometer that way. Now I'm using the GoPro. I think this street is still running. Hopefully I'm walking soft enough on this cobblestone. I'm not a fan of places that uh, are so loud that you feel like you're gonna vomit. Yeah, these type of lights don't stay. Yeah, I've got some funny stories about that. Hola. Hi. Museo de Art. Interesting. I have to come back in the daytime. I like museums, but the problem is, is a museum for me is not like a 15 minute thing. 
So it's very difficult to see. Sorry, I missed it.